Um, apparently, some people are surprised that uh, AAA video game budgets are in the range of like two hundred twenty million dollars, which is crazy to me because like I assumed that that was the range that they were in already because like this is the budget for like equivalent in the movies, right? Big budget movies have these exact same type of budgets, and so I'm really confused why. Uh, anyone who's surprised about this or thinks that this is not sustainable. I mean, again, these have been film budgets for the better part of, you know, the last two decades, I'd say, if not if not longer. Uh, it's just kind of the standard price that you're going to get for a AAA blockbuster experience in most circumstances. Uh, and I don't understand what would be non-sustainable about that. I mean, if that were, as long as it's making its money back, then I feel like it's that's the sustainability, right? The sustainability is... Are these games profitable? And they actually, they are for Sony. And this is interesting, too, because, like, they spend an exorbitant amount of money. Like, $220, $220 million is an exorbitant amount of money to spend on a project, a single-player project that you're going to sell one time and then not have microtransactions or multiplayer or any of the other things that kind of, like, extend the monetary life of the product, right? And they have proven, Sony has proven that these experiences are incredibly popular because these are some of the most successful games in, in the industry. Um, which hey Shana, what's up which kind of just goes back to like the, sony has always put single player on their back and just uh believe that a project doesn't need to have multiplayer online or microtransactions in order to uh sell a lot so i'm very confused why anyone thinks and anyone surprised about this or thinks that's unsustainable in any way um as far as like and this is this is a number that i feel like if anything will go down over time uh, because the major cost whenever you're developing a game is uh, your labor costs, like the, the pay that you give to developers in order to like for them to come in and, and work and stuff. And so the longer your development time takes, the higher this budget's going to be. If you could make this game in half the time, this budget would be half the you would you would cut this budget in half because there's no other extraneous costs like for film. You gotta have like there's there's sets there's locations there's like there's there's costs that's like are baked into it regardless of how long it takes. Obviously, as if it takes longer, you have to pay to rent or use those things for longer. But like in general, there's some like one time costs that's like is always gonna be packed into there. The main cost to a game is literally just paying labor. So if this if they reduce the amount of time it takes to make games, you do reduce the budgetary cost and development times I feel like have hit a point where they uh, went up and up and up and I think they've plateaued and we're going to start seeing them go down because as tools uh, make a lot of processes a lot easier and quicker I think it's only going to lead to a quicker turnaround for these games I mean we've already seen it with Square Enix them switching from uh, their Luminous engine to doing a uh, just making stuff in Unreal has like greatly reduced the amount of time it's taken them to make games so um, this didn't surprise me whatsoever. I would like if they started telling the budgets for every game. I mean, we know the budget for every film, uh, but they don't always tell us what the budgets are for games. And I think it's just like a little weird that we don't always know the budgets for games. Um, and also some people are talking about like, uh, you know, if, uh, only, you only need a 10 for that fun to make in, Ooh, whoa, oops, I don't want to open their Twitter, uh, to make indie games. You know, I, uh, would love to like, uh, take this budget and make 20 to 30 incredible indie games. I mean, you can say that about film, so you can say that about anything. Like, the, the AAA budgets uh, obviously could go to fund a bunch of indie different indie products and projects, and I wish them all the best, but, like, I love that we're in this place in video games where a game can cost $220 million and make its money back. Like, that's... Like, these experiences like The Last of Us Part Two are legitimately pushing the boundaries in um, the medium, and I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. 